After watching this video, you would be able to check by yourself BP, pulse rate, oxygen level, respiration rate and the body temperature of anyone. So without wasting a time, let's get started. So now you can see the vital signs. So vital signs are nothing but a sign of life which used in measurement of you know level of our health and all. So the first one that is the BP or we can say the blood pressure. So the blood pressure is nothing but a force or pressure that the blood exert on the walls of blood vessels and the blood vessels are nothing but arteries and all. All right. So now we are going to check it out how to you know check BP and all. So I'm just going to write over here the well uh, the you know the normal value of BP. All right. Just I'm just writing over here that is 120 oblique you know 80 mm hg all right so here we need to understand what is 120 and and what is 80 so 120 is nothing but a systolic blood pressure i'm just writing over here systolic blood pressure now we have to understand what is systolic blood pressure so when our hearts you know contract so the bp rises and blood moves out along the vessels and at that time you know that blood you know pushes or we can say you know makes a makes a pressure over the wall of that you know uh, vessels and all so that you know pressure is said to be a systolic blood pressure and it you know it should be 120 all right and now let's understand let's get us understand you know about the 80 and all so the when the heart relax after that you know contraction and all when the heart you know relax that bp falls and blood you know fills the heart all right at that time the pressure is you obviously you know it is getting exerting you know putting some pressure over there and all that pressure is said to be a diastolic blood pressure i'm just you know writing over here that is diastolic blood pressure and these two are you know making what the bp and the blood pressure so the normal value you know it is 120 by you know 80 and then okay and then you know the normal value is you know it is this now once you see the value okay 140 by 90 or you know just above of this value at that time okay it can be considered in a hyper you know tension and all and and the another one you know if you see 90 by you know 60 just below to the you know this value if the value of 140 by 90 so it is considered as a normal but it if it rise so it would be considered as a hypertension and all it means you know the bp is high once you see the 90 by you know oblique uh, sorry 90 oblique 60 so it can be considered as a normal but if it would be you know just below from this so that it can you know it would be considered as a hypertension and all so from this this method okay we can easily check the bp and all and uh, you know to measurement the bp and all we do have an instrument that is you know the first one that is the manual one okay it is you know it is used to you know obviously now nowadays we also use this but nowadays okay we do have a digital one as well so these two are the instrument from which we can easily you know measure the blood pressure either it is high or low all right now let's talk about the another one that is you know pulse rate all right so pulse is in you know the wave of blood formed by the contraction of left ventricle all right so what is the pulse pulse is you know, nothing but a wave of blood that is formed you know by the contraction of the vent ventricle sorry left ventricle and all and the normal value of that you know pulse rate that should be 72 beats okay i'm just writing over here per, per minute all right so the normal value of the pulse okay that should be 72 bits per minute and that pulse okay we can check with the help of an instrument that is the pulse oximeter and this pulse oximeter is the you know instrument from which we can check two things the pulse rate and the oxygen saturation level as well so with the help of this instrument we can check both the pulse rate and the oxygen level as well and the next one that is the oxygen level all right so the oxygen level to find out you know to find out the value of the oxygen in our blood we need to use the pulse oximeter or as i told you over here and this pulse you know oximeter has two you know function as i told you to find out the value of pulse rate and the oxygen level as well and the oxygen level okay we are gonna check it out with the help of this that is the saturation of oxygen and and it should be you know the normal value of that is the normal value that should be 95 okay 
if the value so we are going to consider 95 to you know 100 so the if the 95 and 100 you know percent if the oxygen saturation is showing so it's normal but okay if you see just below to the 90 so it is kind of a you know alert you need to go to the doctor and all now let's talk about the respiration rate all right so respiration rate is like you know you are gonna you know you are just you know taking obviously breathe and all so the breathe a uh, kind of you know breathe rate and all so it is the, the value of that respiration rate okay the normal value of this that is 12 to 20 per minute all right 12 to 20 per minute and the average is about you know 18 18 is the average value as i told you the you know in the pulse rate as well that average value is 72 you know per 72 beats per minute and you know the, this is the average value and the pulse rate you know can be if you have 60 to you know 110 all right beats per minute so you don't need to worry about that it is also you know consider in a you no know, average you know uh, average pulse rate as well all right now let's talk about the body temperature so the body temperature okay about the body temperature as you know it is you know the values are you know from 97 to sorry 97.5 to 99 point you know 9 sorry 99 fahrenheit all right if you got the value from you know in between that so you don't need to worry about that and the average value of this okay it should be 98.6 fahrenheit all right in celsius as you know that is 7 degree celsius and all so with the help of okay, these values you can easily find it out the vital signs is it normal or you know you do you need to go to the doctor and all so that was all about the vital signs with the help of you can easily know the your you know your health status and all so the first of all okay we have talked about the bp so the bp is nothing but a pressure or the force exerting on the walls of the arteries or the vessels our, our blood vessels so as i told you that is the you know the value the normal value that is 120 by you know uh, 80 and all so one is you know systolic another another one is the diastolic and the pulse about the about the pulse rate okay it is nothing but a wave okay of the blood that is formed by the contraction of left left ventricle and the normal value of that pulse okay that is that should be you know 72 beats per minute all right and the average as i told you that is you know 62 one sorry it's not average it you know it can be this all right and that average one is 72 and the oxygen level so about the oxygen level as you, as i told you that is the saturation of oxygen level it should be you know 95 to 100 if it is below from the you know 90 so it is a kind of you know a risk so you need to go to the doctor at the time as well now let's talk about the respiration rate as i told you about the respiration rate okay the values are you know from the 12 to 20 per minute and the average one that is you know 18 per minute it, it is about the average and the last one that is body temperature so you know very well about the body temperature so it was all about the vital signs i hope you have got the values or the you know information about the vital signs in this video if you really liked our video so please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be able to get the alert in future if we will you know upload video so as always thanks for watching